Hi gang! In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to draw a zipper pull in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. So there are many types of zipper pulls, and they do come in all shapes and sizes. But if you break them down to draw, they're really only made up of three simple pieces. So the three pieces that make up the zipper pull are the slider, which is this red piece, the actual pull, which is the blue piece, and this white piece over here, we're just going to call it the thing that holds them together for now. All right, so in order to draw a zipper pull, I find it easiest if we start with a zipper. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a path here. And I just happen to have a zipper brush that I made. And this is made to scale for the flats I draw, which is why I like to use it when I'm drawing a zipper pull. So we're going to zoom in really close, and we're going to start the zipper pull based on the proportions of this zipper. So as I said, it's made up of three really simple pieces. The first is a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a square holding the Shift and the Alt key. So it's just the size of my zipper, or the width of my zipper. And now we can take this and work on it. The line weight is really thick, so let's go to the Stroke panel and change that to 0.25. I need to rotate this 45 degrees, so I can just hover until I get the double arrow hold my shift key and drag it around 45 degrees so it looks like a diamond. The next thing I want to do is take the white arrow, select just the bottom anchor point, and I'm going to use my nudge key on the keyboard, those are the arrow keys, and nudge it down two clicks, one, two. And then to make it look more like a zipper pull and less like a kite, we're going to also click on it again with the white arrow, grab any one of these little corner rounder icons, and pull in a little bit, and we end up with a shape like this. So that's our first piece of the zipper pull. The second piece we're going to make from a rectangle. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle that visually looks the right proportion to me to the slide that I already drew. And now we can work on this piece. Let's just move it over. We need to have an opening at the top of the pull so it can attach to the slide. To do that, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle right inside. I'll switch to the black arrow, select both pieces, and I can open the Align window. So we'll go up to Window, Align. And we're opening this up because we're going to use Pathfinder in a little bit and their tab together. So we'll select both of these, align them center, and then I'm just going to nudge this up. Whoop, one point nudge was a little too much. So we'll select it and just move it into place. Now, in order to actually punch out this hole, I need to select both pieces, and we're going to use Pathfinder. The one we want is the last one on the right, and it's called Exclude. If I click on it, it actually punched this rectangle out and made a hole. And you can tell if I drag it over here or over my zipper, we can actually see through that little hole. Let's shape it a little bit fancier, though. I'm going to take the white arrow, and I'm going to make a selection that starts right in the middle of this small square all the way down to the bottom. So I've got everything from here down selected. And then I'm going to scale it so I can taper the bottom a little bit. To do that, I'm going to type in S on my keyboard for the Scale tool, and then just click on the page and drag. And see how it tapers? the bottom of my zipper so I can get it to a size that I like. Now I'm going to switch back to the white arrow, release, click back on it and grab any of these little corner rounders and go ahead and round the corner a bit just to get a softer shape. And those are the first two pieces of our pull. Let's grab this one and move it in place and I can feel it snap right into the center. The last thing we need is that little piece that holds it all together. And that's just a rectangle. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, click and drag a rectangle that kind of fits inside this hole. We'll switch to the white arrow, grab one of those corner rounders, and round it up completely. And now all I need to do is select the whole thing, go back to align, make sure it's aligned center, and my zipper pull is done. So now that I have my zipper pull, let's make a symbol out of it. I'm going to go to the Symbols panel, click on the icon for New Symbol, and we'll call this Zipper. I'm going to call it Zipper 2 since I already have a zipper in there. Click OK, and now you see my zipper is in the Symbols panel. All right, we can move it on top of our 
little zipper here and you can see how it looks. Let's make a second one with a slightly different shape to it. We'll drag my zipper out of the symbols panel and we'll edit it rather than drawing the whole thing over again from the beginning. So in order to edit a symbol, I'm going to right click and break link to symbol. So now it's no longer a symbol, it's just a grouped zipper pull. I'm going to right click, ungroup. Oh, it looks like I have to do that again. Right click, ungroup. And now I'm going to take this part and we're going to get rid of it. I don't need it for this particular pull, so I'll just delete it. Let's grab the rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle, maybe about that big. And then I'm going to switch to my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a circle on the bottom here, holding the Shift and the Alt key in order to make it a perfect circle. I'll select both these pieces, make sure they're center aligned, and then we're going to go back to Pathfinder and click on the first one, which is Pathfinder Unite. And it unites those two shapes together. The next thing to do is go back to the Pen tool. And the one we want is the Delete Anchor Point tool. The shortcut on your keyboard for that is the minus sign. I'm going to delete these two anchor points to get a shape that looks like this. Back to the ellipse tool, we're going to draw a circle right in the center of the bottom, holding the shift and alt key. And we need a rectangle up on top, so we'll go back to the rectangle tool. We'll draw a little rectangle up on top. And to make it look a little bit nicer, We'll switch to the white arrow, select the two bottom anchor points. So I click on the first one, hold the shift key, select the second one. Now I'm going to scale again, S on my keyboard, and just drag out a little bit and it's going to widen the bottom. So the shape goes a little bit nicer with the shape that I drew. I'm going to select the whole thing, make sure that it is aligned center vertically back to Pathfinder and we're going to exclude again to punch out those holes and now we can move the zipper into place but you can see it's the layer order or the uh, stacking order is a little bit different so I'm just going to right click arrange send backward and it'll move it back one so it's sitting in the right place so there's our second zipper pull we can go to our symbols we will call it, how about sport zipper pull? Click OK, and now we've got another zipper pull. Now that we have a couple of zipper pulls, let's just talk about how to assemble a zipper. I happen to have a zipper brush here, but you may not, so let's make one quickly. For the scale that we're working in, a quick zipper brush is just a rectangle. Click on the page, and we're going to type in 0.75, and make sure you're in points, not inches. And for the height, we're going to do four points. Click OK. And you end up with a very tiny little zipper tooth. We're going to change the stroke weight. So to my stroke panel, and we're going to change this to 0.25 and make sure the corners are round. So that's one tooth for our zipper pull. That's really all there is to it. I'm going to select it, copy it, Control C, paste in front, Control F, and then with my arrow keys, I'm going to nudge it over one and down two, one, two. And that's it. We'll select it, go to the brushes, make a new brush, Let's move this over here. Uh, the type of brush we're making for a zipper is a pattern brush because it's a linear repeat. Click OK. We can give it a name. We'll call it zipper. We'll call it zipper closed, actually. Click OK. And we can just move this out of the way. I'm going to take my pen tool, draw a path straight across my page, and we can apply that zipper brush. And it looks like this. Just for fun, since we're here, let's make a quick open zipper brush. I'm going to delete one of these teeth, select the other one, go to my brushes, click New Brush. This is also going to be a pattern brush. We'll call this zipper open. And for this one, we need to add some spacing. So right here, we're going to add 100% so that the zipper can interlock with itself. Click OK. And now we have two zipper brushes. Let's put them to use. Grab the pen tool, and I'm going to draw a line straight down. 
and apply my closed zipper brush. I'm going to go ahead to my symbols and grab one of my zipper pulls that I made and I can just move that right into place. And lastly, a zipper needs a stop on the bottom. That's just a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle right here on the bottom. Make sure the line weight matches the rest of my line weights, which in this case is 0.25. And there's my zipper. All right, let's do one more. Let me zoom out and show you how you can work with the open zipper. Grab my pen tool and I'm going to draw a path with a little curve and then straight down my page. I'm going to make sure it has no fill. Going to go back to my brushes. Click on my open zipper. All right, so there's half of my zipper. Let's take this zipper and reflect it. So I'm going to double click on reflect. I'm going to make sure it's set to vertical and copy. And now with my arrow key, I'm going to nudge this over and then down one. And now you've got a zipper. I could even nudge it over just one more. That works. And then I need a zipper pull. So we'll go to our symbols and we'll drag one out and we'll place it right here. And we need to add our little stop on the bottom. I could go ahead and steal this one. So I'm just going to alt drag to put it over here. So there you have it, zipper pulls with zippers. Really pretty simple. If you like this tutorial, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if there are any other topics you would like me to cover in the future, please let me know in the comments below. And to learn even more Adobe for Fashion, you can watch my courses on LinkedIn Learning. I'll leave a description in the box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.